y'all, it's Natalie, and it's time for the monthly series that I do with my friend Sarah Scraps, it's Cup File Chaos. Today, I'm going to be using this cup file. It is from Not Just For Boys Kit Club, and it's little Polaroids on a line, and I'm going to scrap how my son just got his hair dyed for the first time, and he um, went with some wild, fun colors, and he insists that purple has been his favorite color for a while now. It's always been blue since the day he came out, so I don't know where he comes off insisting that, but now it's purple, apparently. So he got blue and purple in his hair. So purple's a little difficult to come by, but I, I went through all of my stash and pulled out a few papers here. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out the exact design that I'm thinking, but I do go off and I grab a piece of white cardstock because I just wanted white cardstock. I had a lot, you can see all those stars that I have over on to the side and you know, I knew those were gonna be pretty busy and so I grabbed some white cardstock to kind of offset that. So now I'm just kind of filling up the um, cut file. I'm gonna put the leftover glitter paper from cutting out the stars into the little clothes pins and then I will put the um, progression of the photos into photo holes so I won't make you watch all of that but that's what I'm doing here is I'm just like gluing the blue and the um, purple glitter cardstock into the um, little parts of the clothespins mm -hmm. and this is a cardstock cut from not just for boys and it comes pre-cut for you um, so I'll link them down below but now I'm using my um, skinny cherry tape to put tape on the sides of the little skinny frames and then um, my glue gun for the bottom part of the Polaroid. And then I am going to stick it where um, his face is centered in the square and then um, trim off any excess around the sides. So this was smaller than two by two and the photos were about two by two. So um, I had to trim some of them off, but off screen I got it all done and it's looking good and I'm happy with how that looks. Um, what is next? I really try hard to use this paper. It's a really old paper. Um, it's cute, but it also is like cream. So that's one strike against it at first. And then um, it definitely inspired the color scheme because I did add lime green in with my stars. But I finally decided, you know what? I'm just gonna have to fussy cut it. I can't just make it work as a pattern paper. So I just take that one purple piece, purple and a little bit of blue, and I'm going to rip, do a rectangle ripped on either side and put it in the middle of the page. Um, and then I'm going to do some ink blending with that stencil right there and have it peeking out from around the purple paper. And then this is a really old pink paisley uh, paper pad. And I'm gonna pull a few pieces out of that as well. So let's work on our stenciling. So, um, this is a stencil that's also from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. I'm not sure what company, I wanna say Echo Park, but it's like a little Starburst kind of. So I grabbed some shaded lilac, some, what is that? Is that Wilted Violet, I think? And then um, Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide. And then I'm using my Waffle Flower Crafts blending brushes to kind of um, put little stars coming out of either side of that paper. Um, first I started with the shaded lilac and put it in a different, few different places and then I'm just going to line my stencil up when I reapply the other colors so that all the stars match and then you know um, use the same blending brush even with the other purple so that they mix really well that's the beauty of um, distress oxides you know and then of course I use the blue brush for the other but I don't even bother cleaning my stencil um, it just helps them blend better in my opinion so I might be alone in that assessment but it doesn't bother me and again it's like a distressed layout so it's not a big deal if it um isn't absolutely perfect and all the colors are the exact same so i'll take this chance to let you know that of course sarah has a video up today and her page is so stinking cute and i will link her down below but make sure to go check her out of course um and if you came here from her account i would love it if you'd like and subscribe to mine um she is truly an inspiration to me and also an enabler if you have a shopping problem maybe don't check her out no i'm just kidding you definitely should check her out um and she's using some of her stash today i'm so proud of her and her layout is super cute um so there i'm done with the stenciling i lay the paper back and i'm really happy with how that looks and i'm going to do this little cut apart piece here from this pink paisley um i think it's wild child is the name of this collection and it actually ends up fitting perfectly into that last empty 
um, Polaroid picture that I had. So I um, fussy cut that out and I'm going to stick it down and apply it just the same as I did with the photos. And that kind of brings in the green. I had pulled out, um, so I pulled out these, these are stickopotamus. They're so old y'all from Pebbles. Um, but they're the perfect little pur purple and they were glitter too. So I really loved that. So I pulled those out to use as my title. I thought I was gonna use a Chamel like turquoise glitter litter, but it said rad and then I had just put that piece of paper in that said rad and so I didn't want rad on there too twice. Plus um, if I use the alphas then I can kind of make up my own title, which is my jam. So I decided to go with just that. Um, but first I'm gonna fussy cut some of the little conversation um, pieces here from that paper that I tried really hard to use. And, you know, fussy cutting is not my jam, but I will do it at times when it is necessary. And I'm just kind of like setting them on there where I think they might go. I did pull a few other pieces of ephemera out from um, the Viking collection by 49 and Market. And that's what I'm playing with right there. So I decided to um, pop up the cut file in the photos with some foam tape. So that's the big mama foam tape roll from Spookle Mom Scraps. You can also find it in the Cherry on Top store. I will link both down below. And um, then I'm going to tuck some of the stars behind it. And then I'll layer a few on top and just all the way around the page. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. It's just kind of arranging all the stars and making sure that we don't have two next to each other that are too similar or the same color, you know, variegating what have you. Um, I cut those, the two pattern pieces of paper are from the Wild Child Pink Paisley, that little six by six paper pad. And then um, uh, the Memory Box Glitter Paper Pad um, is where the purple and the blue glitter came from. Came from. And we're just gonna arrange those. Nope, we're not gonna arrange those. I'm like, let's go ahead and commit. So let's put this paper down. This is a very thin piece of paper. I'm actually not sure where this came from entirely. So anyway, um, of course I laid it down a little crooked cause you know, I am not a precise person. So I'm gonna just rough up the little edges right there with my fingernail and kind of lift it up a little bit. Um, gives it fun dimension and then you never know that it was a little bit crooked. So again, I'm gonna start, um, I'm going to go ahead and stick down the stars that go directly under the cut file. Um, so then I can go ahead and stick down my cut file. And I like that some of them run off of the um, pattern paper a little bit. So yeah, gives it like a really nice organic look to it. That is Nuvo Adhesive. I swear by it. I use it on every layout that I make, pretty much. And careful to stick down the cut file so it's centered in the page and um, they kind of acted like they were actually hanging from the little rope. So I had to make sure that they were situated on there properly. So now I'm sticking the alphas and the title is going to say cosmic hair kid because it's like he has galaxy hair. It's, it's purple on either side and then blue in the middle. And then I liked that um, idea with the stars. So I stick down cosmic hair and then I decided to do kid on the next line. So I go ahead and do like a little bit of an anchor of another set of our cluster of star embellishments. So. Um, and then I let the word kid touch it a little bit. So that's one way to bring cohesion into your page is just to have all of your embellishments and your accents kind of overlap or just touch each other just a little bit or nestle into one another as though they were meant to go there or belong there, right? Um, just sticking the rest of the little tiny stars around the page in pieces 
areas that it's missing and then I decide that I wanna make sure that I don't forget any of the journaling that I went put. I don't have a lot, but I have a few phrases that he said that I definitely don't wanna forget about. So I did um, off screen, I go off and I like write, jot down everything that I wanna say on a little post-it note and then I decided to handwrite them um, onto the bottom of the Polaroids and then over there under the title as well. So I grabbed a purple pen and I wrote what he wrote. Um, we were joking about him being in a boy band. So when my hairstylist um, did his, she does reels for um, like her business, she put like an in sync song with it, which was really funny. I'll link her down below because you know what? She's an artist and she's awesome and she did this and she does a lot of really bright, fun colors. So if you're in the area, check her out. I'll link her down below to you on Instagram. So I still had a little ink on that ink blending brush. So I just used it to kind of make those little white um, sentiments from 49 and Market a little more colorful. So I just gently tapped it onto there. I didn't want to like cover up the words, of course, but one said living out loud, which his hair is definitely loud. And the other one said happiness. What does it say? I don't remember and I don't have it in front of me, but anyway. So I picked it up to see where all the stars, um, which ones I hadn't stuck down. So I only had a couple more that I had missed. Um, so I'm gonna stick them under and I did have that one sticking on top of the Polaroid and I kind of wish that I had put it back on top, but I did need to fill that space over there on the left as well. Happiness, oh, happiest experience. That's what the other one says, yep. Yeah. Um, and he did, he was so happy with it. It was so good and fun. So he's super happy with it. And now I'm his personal hairstylist because it's a lot of work. And so that is what I'm gonna journal down here at the bottom. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, on the blonde hair picture, he said it looked like spaghetti. So that's what I wrote there. And then the other one, so he's wearing a swim cap because um, I don't know if anybody knows out there, but vibrant hair is a lot. And so you're supposed to only wash it as few times as you can. And like once a week, if you can, she said, and and then use cold water and sulfate-free shampoo. And so um, he, of course, is a little kid and loves to swim. And so he is wearing a swim cap and um, he put it on and he said, I can't put my eyebrows down. And it was super funny. <laughs> So I just wanted to capture all those fun little moments from this fun experience for him. I'm going to find my date stamp off screen and put it in that little um, blank and there it is. So um, like I said, check out Sarah's layout down below. I'll link to her um, channel and thank you guys so much for watching and I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you guys. Bye y'all.